kind of like a boudoir type of light. Brothel. The word you're looking for is brothel. No, Adam Rowley. <laughs> Hey team, it is the morning of our trip to Dalesford. I am ready to roll. You can see my stuff is all packed and ready on the table. I'm about to jump in the car and go to Adams to pick him up. Now I have left, excuse me, get down off of there. I am leaving Honey here by herself, but uh, we're only going for four nights, but I have set her up. I've got an auto feeder, as you can see and a massive, 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 massive bowl of water. Like I said, I'm only gone for four, well, three days. Uh, she'll be fine. We are here in Hepburn Springs National Park. We've made it to Dalesford. You saw a couple of our arrival just before. First activity off the, off the rank is uh, this hike. We didn't really luck out with our food choices, which is odd because Dalesford is known to be hippie central. There's literally one place. Luckily they had amazing food. What do you think of Hepburn Springs National Park, Adam? I think we need to pick up their rubbish. Oh, like those people. <laughs> we can rewind to my hiking video with Sarah. It's eerily reminiscent. I'm finding myself out of breath, which is strange because I'm a fitness instructor. How's your breath going, Adam? We have made it to the lookout. We're not quite up there yet. Let's hit the last few legs. You can see little Adam making his way down from the top. Gonna have to say I noped out of that. Hey team, we're in Hepburn Springs. That's a barbecue. That's a sign. And that's the shitter. As you just saw before, we are here at the Hepburn Springs National Park. We thought we'd do a bit of hiking for our first activity. We haven't actually checked into our accommodation yet, our Airbnb. Mostly because we can't check in until 3 p.m. So we thought, why not? We got here around 12 to 11 30 12 uh, we had lunch really good food and now we're just spending some time out in nature because this is the only really good weather day that we've got i mean just look at this bloody weather it's awesome it's 24 degrees the first mid-20s day since summer last year We have arrived at the Argyle Springs, not the ones that we were actually aiming for, but hey, who doesn't love walking another 400 meters? Look at all the water coming out. All of that natural goodness. Mm. We have arrived at Vera's Cottage. It's very quirky. I love it's got like an old car seat as a lounge. It's kind of warm. You can do a laundry. Toilet. That smells really clean in there. I'm really surprised clean. how big this is. I really like the character. Like it's really cool. 
Very cool. Well, we can't say that there isn't mood lighting in here. A wonderful pink, kind of like a boudoir type of light. Brothel. The word you're looking for is brothel. No, Adam Rowley. So we've been here for quite a few hours now and some people have moved in next door uh, because this is a subdivide. The front half of this property is an apartment. Hopefully you can hear those noises. That's them walking around, talking, opening and closing doors. It, it's not necessarily a bad thing, it's just... You not really... You really notice it and it does disturb the peace that we've got going on here. It's more than kind of annoying. The only downside to this property. Good morning team, it is day two of our trip away to Dalesford. Um, the rain has come to play today. Let me show you outside. It's kind of dreary. We were going to be doing a winery tour today. We're thinking more indoors type of activities. So we're going to go to the convent. You're going to come with us. I've been there before, um, many years ago. It's a art gallery, a former convent that's now an art gallery. We're going to go check that out. First night in this place, it's so cute. It's so quirky. Uh, kind of noisy, like I said previously. If only my words could do it justice. It's so retro, quirky. It's just, it's really cool. This bed, however, I am not a fan. This is the convent. How beautiful, how amazing are these grounds? The inside of the chapel. Wow, these are narrow. This is cool. remember all of this. Very cool. Kind of freaky. That's kind of freaky. Famous Last Supper. <laughs> Very unattractive cats. Remember the last time I was here, the, um, the exhibitions that were in there were amazing. Yet another very cool venue. I can just imagine having a reception in here. So cool. Amazing outlook. Pity it's raining, but I reckon it kind of adds to it. Very cool venue. Fit. And this is in the bell tower. the day was clear, you'd be able to see a bit more. What do you think of the convent, Adam? Religious. It's a very good shot. 
really love old buildings. Gotta say, it's really cool. We are here at Mill Market in Dalesford, looking at super old stuff. It's cool. That would look really nice in your tut. In my tut. <laughs> Do you like that cushion? Hmm? Do you like that cushion? Yeah. There's just something about other people's junk. But it can be entertaining. It is the very last day of our four day weekend and not only are we very relaxed, but it's definitely time to go home. A little thank you to the owners of our cottage. I have just arrived back home and look who is waiting for me. Little honey. Back inside, let's actually see how well her feeder did. It's still full. Still full, still going. Awesome. We have a winner. I've literally just walked in the door. You can see I've got a whole bunch of unpacking to do. Our four day weekend away is over. I didn't film every single thing uh, or every activity. The last couple of activities we did, there was a wine tour <laughs> with one winery. Uh, more like a wine tasting and a, a cider tasting. We did a bit of drinking, some adult stuff as well which is to be expected when you're away with your partner on holiday. I was supposed to be doing a couple of food reviews, food product reviews with Adam while we were away. <laughs> on the last night that we were there, after we had done the winery, we realized that it's probably going, not going to be a good look if we got on the, in front of the camera a little bit pissed. So that fell to the wayside. That's not to say that I don't have another review coming. Hopefully you've enjoyed following us along as we unwind and unplug. It wasn't really unplugged because I took all my electronic devices. I had to keep you informed. Make sure you subscribe, notify, all of the other stuff and keep watching.